um, chemistry chapter 24 theory video 5. Uh, now let us look at uh, the stereoisomerism in transition metal complexes. So, uh, we have learnt about the two different types of stereoisomerism that is geometric and optical isomerism. Um, so, if there is a double bond, uh, but now for example in 1, 2 dry, uh, dibromomethane, uh, there would be two geometrical isomers that is the cis trans isomers that is going to be possible because of the double bond in 1, 2 dibromoethane. Uh, now, similarly, geometric isomerism is going to be possible in transition metal complexes as well. Uh, however, the, uh, imp the uh, in important thing is there are no double bonds in this. Uh, so, in this particular case, geometric is isomerism will uh, mean, uh, the mean the complexes with the same molecular formula but different geometrical arrangements of the atoms. Now, when you take uh, the M, uh, if you take a complex Ma2, B2, M is the transition element and A and B are the surrounding ligands, then uh, the, uh, the geometrically their position would be different. Now, for example, if you take cis platin and trans platin, these two chemicals, one of them is used to treat <coughs> cancer, but the other one is in, in, ineffective against cancer. Uh, so they have, uh, you know, different arrangements. In cis platin, ammonia, NH3, NH3, they are arranged next to each other. Here. Then chlorine and chlorine next to each other. But uh, in the trans platin, NH3 is across each other and Cl is also across each other. So, uh, this is, uh, this actually changes their properties. Cisplatin uh, is used as an anti, uh, anti-cancer drug. Uh, it can actually bind to different sections of the DNA in cancer cells and uh, prevent the cell division from continuing. So, transplating would not do the same thing. And it doesn't have any medi any beneficial any uh, medical benefit for us. Uh, so the geometrical isomers would have different properties. The uh, the reason for that is uh, the uh, there there is a difference in electronegativity uh, of the uh, atoms in ligands that form the dative bond. Uh, with the transition metal and that can result in polar and non-polar complexes. Now in the cis isomer it will have two identical groups on one side of a square planar complex. Now in this one we have uh, on the left hand side on the cis platin we have on the left hand side we have identical chlorine on, on that side. So that means, uh, because they are on the same side, when there is a difference in electronegativity, uh, it will cause an imbalance of charge and as a result we are going to have a polar complex. So that, that means the atoms with the higher electronegativity will have a strong pull on the electrons of the creative bond and would uh, be open to a partial negative charge. When the trans isomer uh, means identical ligands are directly opposite and they cancel out their effect uh, to one another. They, they, they are balanced. So as a result we get a non-polar complex as you can see that. Uh, so in the cis uh, plate in here that is the reason why because it is a polar complex it can be used for uh, for the medical benefit uh, and uh, not only the not only it being a polar complex but also because it has the ability of uh, you know attaching itself to the DNA and uh, preventing it from uh, uh, copying so so as a result it cannot uh, the uh, the cancer cells cannot uh, divide <coughs> so this is a result of that being uh, polar because of the 
uh, imbalance caused by the um, change in difference in electronegativity. Um, now, if you take uh, MA4B2 complex, an octahedral complex, that can also uh, have geometric isomerism. For example, cobalt 2 complex, that is CONH34, H2O2, 2 plus uh, uh, complex can f uh, show that. Now, as you can see, there are, uh, you know, H2O, H2O can be on either side, that is on the trans isomer, or else as shown uh, here in uh, uh, the first one cis isomer, it is going to be the, uh, it is going to be on a side. Cis isomer is uh, slightly polar, uh, but the trans is non-polar because uh, H2O complex is on either side. Uh, because in the in the first one in the cis uh, isomer it is uh, asymmetric so there is an electronegativity difference between the oxygen and nitrogen atoms uh, that is attached to the uh, central cobalt with uh, dative bonds and as a result uh, because the complex with the water ligand is going to be slightly negative because uh, because oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen so as a result there would be there would be a difference in the uh, electronegativities uh, compared with the other side as a result uh, it would have a polarity but in the trans again the difference in electronegativity applies but because they are equal on either side uh, the uh, the charge would be spread evenly across the complex. Um, I hope you understood. Let's write down a note up to that point. Um, uh, geometrical isomerism within brackets, which is a type of stereoisomerism having two forms, cis-trans is possible in transition metal complexes even though they don't have double bonds this occurs when the complexes with the same molecular formula have different geometrical arrangements of the atoms Leave a line and write example. Any square planar complex with the general formula capital M within brackets A, close brackets 2, open brackets B, 2. This equation. Where M is a transition metal and A and B are surrounding ligands. Underneath that, draw the cis platin and trans platin. That is figure 24.8. This figure. Write down underneath that after drawing. These two complexes have different properties. because the electronegativities of the ligands of the atoms that make up the ligands creates an 
charge imbalance on the complex in cisplatin Two identical groups are on one side, which creates an imbalance of electronegativity with the nitrogen attached on the other sides, other side, two nitrogens attached on the other side. One side is going to be electronegatively higher than the other side as a result it becomes a polar complex in the trans platin the similar ligands are on either side which balances their electronegativities and as a result the complex becomes non-polar. Leave line and write. Octahedral complexes with the general formula MA4B2 that is this equation MA4B2 can also display geometric isomerism. Write example and this, right, draw this. After drawing it, pause the video and draw it. And after drawing it, write this note. In trans isomer, the symmetric shape of the complex spreads the charge evenly throughout resulting in a non-polar complex. However, the asymmetric cis isomer will result in a slight within brackets partial negative charge making it a polar complex. Right, then uh, stereoisomerism is also commonly shown by octahedral or six coordinate complexes associated with bidentate ligands. Now, if you take a nickel complex uh, earlier that we discussed, uh, uh, 1, 2, diamineethane, NH2, CH2, CH2, NH2. So it, it is bidentate, that means it produces, it is joined uh, to the central uh, nickel atom uh, with uh, two bonds, two dative bonds. Uh, the, uh, now there, there is a possibility of two isomers. Uh, they show stereoisomerism because they are going to be mirror images of each other and cannot be superimposed. We call them optical isomers. You have learnt about this. Uh, so they are differing only in their ability to rotate the plane of pluralized, uh, polarized light in opposite directions. Uh, write down. Octahedral, that is six coordinate complexes associated with bidentate ligands show
optical isomerism, that is stereoisomerism. Example 1, 2, diamino ethane, NH2, CH2, CH2, NH2. These optical isomers are mirror images of each other and cannot be superimposed. Please draw this figure 24.10. So there is a f the first one is the full structure, then number two is the simplified structure with EN uh, to represent diaminoethane and uh, you, it would be best if you can remember the second uh, simplified version. Now um, if you take a complex uh, containing nickel bonded to di to two bidentate 1, 2 diaminoethane ligands and two monodentate ligands that is something like water or chloride ions uh, they can form both uh, geometric isomers that and uh, optical isomers cis trans and optical now here you have cis and trans of uh, nickel H2 NCH2 CH2 NH2 2 and H2O2 2 complex and you can simplify it to nickel En2 H2O2 2 plus and this is cis and trans isomer as you can see in the cis there, there will be a uh, partial charge the other one is uh, it is balanced Um, and uh, the when you take the optical isomer, only the cis isomer is going to be optically active uh, uh, because um, there there would be two super non superimposable mirror images. In the trans isomer, they can be their mirror images are uh, superimposable. As a result, they they cannot display optical isomers. Right. So, here they have given two examples, you would be able to figure out how it is done. Uh, write down. The complex ion consisting of nickel 2 bonded to 2 bidentate 1, 2 diaminoethane, that is within brackets EN ligands and 2 monodentate ligands such as water or chloride ions can form both geometric cis-trans and optical isomers. However, the trans isomer cannot show optical isomerism because it is superimposable. However, the cis isomer cannot be superimposed as a result it shows optical isomerism as well please draw these two and after that go to the next uh, part and draw this as well so that is the mirror image because as a result you can see that the uh, cis is uh, super it cannot be superimposed so as a result it shows optical isomerism I hope you understood. If you understand, if you uh, if you understood what I taught, please do question number four. If you didn't understand, please let me know.